the Chase Trifecta could be the ultimate Chase credit card combination of all time. It can open the door to unbelievable perks and unlimited earning potential. But of course, I cannot make this call. I will leave it to you guys. And that's the reason I made this video. In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the Chase Trifecta setup. And if you watch this video till the end, I will give you my take on this card plus a couple of hidden nuggets that you guys might not know. So without further ado, my name's Tiago, let's get into this video. To begin this video, let's talk about what cards are necessary to assemble the almighty Chase Trifecta setup. The Chase Trifecta setup is comprised of the Chase Freedom Flex and Freedom Unlimited, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, or the Chase Sapphire Reserved. These three cards come together to make the holy grail of credit cards. Now, one thing to note is that if you guys are planning on getting these three credit cards, there are some things you should take into consideration. First of all, you must know what your approval odds of getting all of these three credit cards are. You want to make sure that you have a minimum credit score of 750 in order to have outstanding approval odds of getting approved for the Chase Sapphire Reserved. Moving down to the Chase Sapphire Preferred, you want to make sure you have a minimum credit score of a 700. And for the Chase Freedom Series, you want to make sure you have a minimum credit score of 680. Now, credit score is one part of the equation when trying to get approved for the Chase Trifecta. The other part of the equation is the Chase 524 rule. Because even if you have all the qualifications to get approved for all of the Chase cards, if you do not meet this one, chances are you will get denied for these cards. This rule basically states that you cannot have opened five or more credit cards within the past 24 months. And the last part is you guys want to avoid applying for one credit card after the other. This can raise a red flag with Chase, leading you guys to getting denied, or even worse, leading you guys to getting blacklisted. The rule of thumb is you want to apply for a new credit card every three to six months. The more time you give it, the better your approval odds will be. So now let's talk about the benefits and point system of the Chase Trifecta. To start, let's talk about the Chase Freedom Flex. To begin, this card has absolutely no annual fee. With this card, you will earn 5% cash back on bonus categories on up to $1,500 per quarter. After that, you will only earn 1% cash back. You will earn 5% cash back on flights purchased through the Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal. You will earn 3% cash back on restaurants and drugstores. You will earn 1% cash back on all other categories. And when cashing out points through this card, one point is equal to one cent. Now let's take a look at the Chase Freedom Unlimited. Again, this is another card that does not have an annual fee. And again, you will earn 5% cash back on flights purchased through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You will earn 3% cash back on restaurants and drugstores. And you will earn a whopping 1.5% cash back on all other purchases. And again, the redemption value is one cent per point on this card. Now let's step up and talk about the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Now this card does have an annual fee of $95. With this card you will earn five points per dollar when you purchase your flights through Chase Ultimate Rewards. You will earn three points per dollar when you spend your money on restaurants, grocery stores, and streaming services. You will earn two points per dollar on all other travel. And you'll earn one point per dollar on any other category. Now, when you redeem your points through this card, one point has a redemption value of 1.25 cents. Last 
but not least on our list, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Now, this card has a whopping $550 annual fee. So make sure that you really look into what this card has to offer before you apply for it. With this card, you will earn 10 points per dollar when you book hotels and rental cars through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. You will earn five points per dollar when you book flights through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. You will earn three times points when you spend money on restaurant or groceries. You will earn three points per dollar when you spend money in travel in general. You will earn one points per dollar on any other purchase. Now the awesome thing about this card is it has the highest redemption value. One point is equal to 1.5 cents, which is almost a 50% increase in value. So now, what's the benefit of having all of these cards together? The Chase Freedom Flex will let you maximize your points spending through its different rotating categories. The Freedom Unlimited will let you earn 1.5 times points on all other purchases. The Chase Sapphire Preferred will let you maximize your spending on travel and dining. Lastly, the Chase Sapphire Reserve will convert your points starting at 1.5 cents per point, which again, ladies and gentlemen, is almost a 50% boost in value. Now, besides this, you get all the other benefits that come with these cards, plus you get the benefit of either having the Visa Signature or the Visa infinite stamp on it. The goal of having the Chase Trifecta is to maximize your points earning on all categories and maximizing your earnings when you're cashing out. However, I just want to reiterate a couple of different things before you guys go ahead and apply for these cards. Again, I want to reiterate the Chase 524 rule. Also, another super important thing you guys should know is that you can only have one Chase Sapphire card at a time. That means that you cannot carry both the Chase Sapphire Preferred and Reserved sim simultaneously. You must choose the one that makes more sense for you. So to make it easier to understand, an example of the Chase Trifecta might look like something like this. The Chase Freedom Flex, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. This is one out of the many trifecta setups that I'm pointing out to. But you can also substitute the card here with any other Chase card like the Business Inc. or the Chase Amazon Prime card. So now, what's my take on this setup. By far, this is my favorite setup of all time. I even like this better than the American Express trifecta. And by the way, if you guys want me to make a video about the American Express trifecta, drop me a comment down below. The reason I like this is because I am in the Chase ecosystem. I love maximizing points and I currently have the Chase Sapphire Preferred and the Chase Freedom Flex. I literally just need one card to complete my setup. Also guys, if you know which card I should get next, point me out in the right direction by dropping me a comment down below. Now I want to know what do you guys think about the Chase Trifecta? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's overrated or underrated? Also what cards and setup are you guys using? I'm actually pretty curious on this. Drop me a comment down below. By the way guys, what I'm going to do right now is leave a link on the screen of the next video you should watch which is about the Chase Marriott Bonvoy Bountiful credit card.